Hello YouTube, this is Chris here. This is actually my third attempt at uh, trying to review this figure because the sun keeps making the lighting difficult, but this is the best I can get it for now. Um, however, this is my first Star Wars review of uh, 2012, and today I'm going to be reviewing for you the Star Wars Movie Heroes Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, and I'm going to give you a look at the packaging first because it's new packaging. Uh, of course, we've got the Star Wars logo in the top left, and in the top right, if I can, I might bring it round to show you better. And there we go, in the top right, we've got this really nice menacing picture of Darth Maul. Um, down here on the left side, we have a picture of Qui-Gon Jinn, played by Liam Neeson. There we've got Grappling Hook Launcher. Uh, and it's got in there, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says includes battle game card. Um, the Hasbro logo is next to the Movie Heroes logo. And on the side we have uh, MH10, which is Movie Heroes number 10. Uh, and when you look there, you can see the die, the battle die, uh, and the new coloured gold stand. Um, and just behind Qui-Gon Jinn, you can see his battle game card. On the back, we have, uh, again, a picture of the figure. Um, we have a picture from Star Wars, uh, The Phantom Menace. We have a picture of the figure using the grappling hook launcher, which we only saw him use in a, a uh, deleted scene. Um, there it says Jedi. Because he's a Jedi. Movie, movie Heroes number 10. Down here some like diagram thing for the battle card. It says unique game card for each figure. Um, and on here we've got... It says there collect them all. But on here we've got Movie Heroes, oh, movie heroes number 11. Clone Trooper. Which I might army build because I don't have that Clone Trooper. Uh, movie Heroes 12. Destroyer Droid. I'm considering getting one of them because... Uh, I never had a movie destroy droid. Uh, movie Heroes number 6, Darth Vader. I've got too many Darth Vader, so I'm not that bothered about that one. And Movie Heroes number 2, Super Battle Droid, which I believe I have that one, so I'm okay on that one. Uh, and it says here, Qui-Gon Jinn finds himself on a dramatic journey full of peril and discovery. And that's it for the read-up. That's Qui-Gon Jinn's read-up. Now, uh... In case you were wondering why I got this particular figure, well, um, I don't actually own a Qui-Gon Jinn that is this well articulated. Now, I know this is a repack from an earlier line, but I've never previously owned a Qui-Gon Jinn that is this well articulated. So, um, I really want to get this guy opened up. And never mind, I need to get is I need to get a well articulated Obi-Wan, because I've only got this one from Episode 1, which looks shit <laughs> compared to the one in the Movie Heroes lines, but I will get the Obi-Wan very soon. The only thing that's turning me off is the hilt isn't correctly coloured, but if I do get it, I'll mention that. So uh, without further ado, let's get Liam Badass Neeson out of this packaging. So here we have Qui-Gon Jinn out of his packaging, and uh, first off, I am quite impressed with this figure, seeing as I never got this figure when it was first originally released and it's really nice uh, figure. Just want to mention that's the battle game card uh, now on the new packaging. Uh, I can't remember what it was like on the old packaging but it's uh, sellotaped to the card back so you just want to gently peel it off or just this off bear with me guys so there's the battle game card out of that um, so first off I'm just going to take you through every little thing of the packaging here you get all these warning stuff this one was in the battle game card. 
This one's in the actual package itself. This big one here. This one is for the battle game die thing. It's instructions on what you have to do. And sorry about the noise. I'm watching Star Wars The Clone Wars and I forgot to pause it. Uh, this is still cardboard. Uh, just as quite gone gin, there's nothing that fancy about it. Um, this, however, this is quite strange. It's like a. It's not like paper. It's it's got like this plastic material on top of it that kind of protects it and makes it less rippable. And it's kind of cool. I mean, they kind of cheaped out a bit, but like not cutting it off there. But they probably left it because of the way the lightsaber is there. But that's really cool. I'm definitely going to keep that. Might make a little collage out of all these. So there's that. Um, so we got his battle game die here. Uh, these are different because the, the old ones, which I don't have one handy, I don't think. But uh, when I do the game, like, base comparison at the end, I'll look for one of these. If I just uh, turn you here a minute, because it's better lighting. It's it's now black and gold, whereas it used to be blue, if I'm correct. Um, the next accessory he comes with is his grappling hook launcher. Which I'm going to attempt to show you uh, now how well it fires. So I believe to fire it, you've just got to do this. Oh, it's not even in properly. Ah, I don't know how to do it. Bear with me, guys. I haven't had one of these in a while. Oh, shit. How does it fire? Oh, there we go. That's not a great firing. Missile launcher, but you just flick it up, it doesn't fire very far. It's not the best thing in the world. It's a nice touch though for the kids, I suppose. Seeing as these are mostly repacks, um, you need gimmicks like that. Like the Darth Maul, one of the Darth Mauls they repacked, not the one that I want when it comes out. I also want the Vintage Collection Darth Maul, which I'll try to get my hands on, but the one that's they repacked is one that has a gimmicking arm spinning feature so yeah here's his uh, battle game card which uh, his force abilities 12 battle skills 13 intelligence 11 mechanical skills 6 leadership 12 luck 7 just have a look there nice little picture of the movie there from when they are are rescuing the queen and then on the back we've got this really nice image of uh, Qui-Gon Jinn which is new we never had images on the back see I'm not gonna you know bother playing this game thing so it's nice to have this image because now um, I can display them and uh, normally I used to just not display them with the cards but now if I can bloody put the card in correctly you can display him and have the card like that. So uh, let's take a look at Qui-Gon Jinn himself. I'll start off with the articulation. He also, of course, comes with his trademark lightsaber, which I'll get into. Uh, but he's got a ball-jointed neck, ball-jointed shoulders, ball-jointed elbows, sore wrists. Uh, he's got an abdomen joint there. Uh, he has... 
some leg articulation. I don't think it goes out very far. Um, but he has got cloth bits there to make his legs move that little bit extra. He's got ball jointed knees and uh, ball jointed ankles. So he's got a good range of articulation. Um, now I want to get onto the lightsaber because I've got here the uh, original lightsaber from the original episode 1 figure and I, although the paint has worn off on this this is a much much nicer version of the Qui-Gon Jinn lightsaber if I just take it over here you can see that on his hilt he's got the red ignition button it's all painted correctly you know and I have the big electronic Qui-Gon Jinn lightsaber as well so I know exactly how it should be painted. Set that I have the Obi Wan Kenobi one as well, so it's painted correctly, and I really, really like like the paint and the plastic that they used for the actual blade itself. It just it's it looks like it's glowing. Um, and then you look at this one, and uh, first of all, the handle Ben. <laughs> um, it it was painted correctly, and the button was red. But uh, over time, it's just completely worn off, and you can see underneath that the plastic's uh, the same colour as the actual blade itself. But this blade doesn't look as good as this one, in comparison. That blade looks a lot more like a lightsaber than that one. So, um, overall, uh, this Qui-Gon... It's a very, very nice figure and a very welcome addition to your collection. Um, I, I do recommend him if you never got him first time round. I mean, if you already own this figure, it seems pointless because I don't think you're getting anything new except the, uh, the uh, card game. Um, however, it is a very, very, very nice Qui-Gon and uh, you can get him in some nice action poses and um, I'm really glad I've got a more better articulated Qui-Gon. This was also the only Qui-Gon in uh, in Sainsbury's and if I can get my bag, I didn't show you this in the hall but I got this guy and Commander Cody from the Clone Wars for only 10.65 as the figures normally are seven ninety nine, but um, they are only five thirty two in Sainsbury's. So if you're a fan of Star Wars and you don't have this guy, go to Sainsbury's and pick him up for five thirty two. You get a really, really, really nice repacked Qui Gon Jinn. So um, yeah, and uh, of course, his head is very nicely detailed. I just had to mention that very quickly. My camera is dying. Give you a quick look at all his detail on his pouches and his boots. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.